Thanks, Simon. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here today at Unveil Fest to share what's new with Unveil Editor for Fortnite. We launched UEFN to enable creators to build their own games inside of Fortnite and be compensated fairly based on player engagement. Many of you here in the audience today have helped expand what's possible with UEFN. Let's take a look at some of the amazing content so far. We want to put the most powerful tools into your hands as we continue to make Fortnite the most creator-friendly ecosystem to develop and launch games. UEFN puts the power of Unreal Engine at your fingertips, but it's unique at the speed at which you can iterate on your game. You can rapidly prototype in UEFN, connect to the live Fortnite environment on PC, console, and mobile with no dev kit needed. So let's start with an update on how we're working to improve discoverability of your games. So a key aspect of finding success within the ecosystem is how your content is surfaced to players and discover. That's the interface where Fortnite players can explore and find their next favorite game. We recently launched new discover features to get your island in front of the right players with personalized recommendations updated hourly. And with over 400 new islands releasing every single day, improving discover has never been more important. We have a lot more to work to do. Behind me, you will see part of the redesigned version of Discover that will launch soon, and, and you will be able to, and will continue to iterate to enable players to find new genres that they love, including deeply regional content. You can learn a lot more about the new features at the Discover Talk on Thursday at 11.45. So once players discover and play your game, the economy will, will reward your success. In Fortnite ecosystem, it's simple. If players play your game, you get paid. We're continuously working on new features that empower you to deliver highest quality content and help you build and manage your business in Fortnite. As of today, we've had 134,000 islands published with UEFN, and we've paid out $479 million to creators. Thank you. The central hub to manage and grow your business is the Creator Portal. Recently, we've added more key analytics around impressions, clicks, and section duration in, in Creator Portal. And our goal is to help you hone in on what elements of your island exactly are resonating with players and where you have insights for areas of improvement. This is just one example, and you can learn a lot more about the Creator Portal at our talk on Thursday at 2 p.m. Now, let's dive into the new features that we're building for UEFN itself. Our aim is to build tools and platforms that enable you to make the games that you want to make and publish them directly into Fortnite. While we still have a ways to go, in the next few months, we're addressing some of the big holes in the capabilities of the platform. So first, Fortnite players love a good shooter game. However, there's a perspective that has been neglected, first-person shooters. That's why I'm excited to share that we've just released the experimental first-person camera mode device in UEFN. This is going to enable creators the, to give the ability to build islands in some of today's most popular genres, including tactical, team-based, and ability-based shooters. You can start building and experimenting today, and you'll be able to publish those islands to players later this year. And to further support the development of first-person games over the next year, we'll also be introducing the ability to create fully custom weapons, deeper UI capabilities, and finally, global leaderboards. Shooters are just one genre that players love. More casual experiences are fast gaining popularity in the ecosystem. On average, about one third of time spent playing creator-made games is in non-combat games now, and that share has been growing over time. So let's talk about what we're going to do to enable more of these genres. We're focused on making it easier to create casual and social games with the introduction of text chat coming very soon. Within the next year, we'll also release fully custom items and in-world UI capabilities. And all of these features would enable you to build games in a variety of genres like social role play, action RPGs, horror, and much more. 
And then finally, a core tool that supports both Jira and casual games is Scene Graph. And I got a new entity and component framework. We launched Scene Graph in the experimental feature in June, giving you the early access to the tools as we continue to iterate and improve based on your feedback. Now, in December, Scene Graph will be moving into beta, meaning you'll finally be able to publish your islands. So, Scene Graph has enabled you to, to iterate and create variations of your content much more efficiently, to build better experiences faster, greater control over core engine systems like audio, physics, particle meshes, and then finally, you can inject um, custom gameplay logic with Rush components. So, one more thing. We love giving you tools that spark creativity and the opportunity to build with world-class IP, like we did with Fall Guys, Lego, and Rocket Racing earlier this year. So, what better way to bring the brawler genre to Fortnite than partnering with Paramount to bring you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? We're just as excited. So, starting today, you can get custom weapons, devices, templates, and assets that enable you to build your very own authentic TMNT island that you can publish in November. Anyone in the island creator program can publish islands with these tools by agreeing to the 15% engagement payout share with Paramount. And if you've already signed the agreement to create LEGO islands, you don't have to sign again. So, You'll be able to use TMNT devices, including the classic turtle weapons, world-building POIs, such as the Technodrome, fully playable, um, and along with the existing UFN tools to build out your experience. And all of that, paired with our new camera system, custom-branded NPCs, and TMNT-themed UI, unlocks the building of classic beat-em-up experiences. And we're also releasing the post-processing features you saw to all Fortnite creators to enable them to transform your experience and give them like a classic comic book feel. So one of the ways that we here at Epic use to improve our tools is by using them ourselves. And earlier this year, we shared that we'll be shipping a season in Battle Royale built fully in UEFN by the end of 2025. As a, as a step on that journey, we're building two projects currently using a mix of UEFN and internal features. The first is an updated version of Reload that players will experience in the coming weeks. The focus on the rebuild was dialing in core editor workflows. Otherwise, to players, it's completely transparent that it went into UEFN. Later this year, we're launching a brand new game made primarily in UEFN to stress test Verse and the UX framework. We made the decision at Epic to move our first party teams to UEFN sooner to, to accelerate feature development with the goal of creating better, more robust tools for everyone faster. Right now, it might seem that UE and UEFN are still really far apart, but Verse, SceneGraph, and the APIs that we're releasing in December are all part of the foundation for the future of UE6. This incredible community of creators is expanding what's possible in Fortnite and beyond. Thank you for your tremendous contributions to the Epic ecosystem, and thank you for your time. And now, please welcome Dana Cowley to the stage. 